Andy Hudsonite here. Today we're looking at My Maps in Google. This is a powerful application for creating private, unlisted, or public maps that you can share with other people in your organization, in your family, friends to create unique mapping experiences so that you can plan out trips, events, or anything that you would want to share with others in a powerful way. We're going to look at this. In this video, we're going to look at a quick overview, but in future videos, I'm going to get into the specifics of how to use it. Just search out My Maps Google. You'll see the link up here of how to access this. Let's click this to get started. I have not created any maps in this particular Google account. So you can see it has a clean slate. We have all owned, not owned, shared, or recent maps here. Here you can get a, a different layout of your maps. Here you have sorting options for your maps if you had maps in here. Now again, this is just part of your Google account, so it's easy to access once you're logged into your Google account. There's a menu here for create a new map, download, Android app. If you have an Android phone, you can download the app for that. Help feedback. And then this integrates with your Google Drive because you can bring in data tables to post into My Maps, which I'll get into in a future video. Okay, to create a map, all you do is click here, create a new map. This will bring us into a general view. I'm located in the United States. You would have a different map location that would come up if you're in a different country. And you can see here, this looks very familiar to Google Maps if you were in that application searching out a location. So you'll see a search bar up here. This is where you can search out a particular location. This over here, this box is, this is really your control panel for the My Maps. Now here you have an untitled map. Why don't we give that a name? So we can just click on that. We'll call it My New Map. Not very descriptive. We can give it a name or a description. Uh, my New... I have all caps on. My New Google map. Let's click save and you now see that reflected over here. In this menu here we have a number of options. New map, we can copy this map, we can open a map, move to trash, set default view, embed on my site, export to KML, KMZ, and then print the map. And we'll get into those options in a future video. Okay, and you'll see here all changes saved to drive, so your maps are going to be stored in your Google Drive. Here you have add layer, share, if you want to share the map, and then you can preview your map. Now you're, you're given your first layer. Now you have a maximum of 10 layers to work with in Google Maps, so that is your limitation when it comes to creating layers. A layer is essentially a group of data that you want to highlight on the map. So you can choose to import a spreadsheet to create that layer, or you can simply use these tools here to create a layer on your map or simply a location. Here you have base map. You can choose the type of map that you want to, to use, whether it's a satellite type map, terrain, light political, you have mono city and you have different types of layouts here. We're just going to use the, the default one. Okay, let's come in here and rename this first layer. We'll just call it first layer, but you can give it any name that you would like. We are not going to import data. I will show you how to do that in a future video. What we'll do is why don't we just search out a location. You can search out anything in here, just like in Google Maps. Let's just do Chicago, Illinois. And you'll see that here. 
Okay, and it comes up over here under that, and you can choose Add to Map, and then it's going to go on to your layer. Now, once it gets onto your layer here, you have a number of options for how you want to feature this. So you can choose the style, which changes the color of your pin that's on the map. You can even use a completely different icon, and you click more icons, and you're met with all these different types of icon. You can filter, like if you wanted to find something related to city, why don't we just put that, some buildings, click OK, and now our icon has that for city. Now here you can edit, so let's say you want to say my favorite city, Chicago, and then a description, great places to see here. Click save, and that's now part of your your pin on the map for Chicago. Now you can even add some images here and you have a whole lot of different options for how you want to add the image, whether it's an upload from your computer, your web camera, your, an image URL, from your photos, from this would be from Google Photos, from Google Drive, Google Image Search, or even from YouTube Search or YouTube URL. Let's use Google Image Search and let's just find some pictures of Chicago from Google Image. And this is a nice one. And we'll select that. And so now our pin, let's click Save. So now our pin, when anybody highlights this pin on the map, if you share it with other people, they will also be able to see that. Or you could feature one of your own photos of something in Chicago that's unique or you can you can put more than one photo here you can put several photos and then directions let's say you wanna you wanna give directions from particular places around the country on how to get to Chicago or maybe you're planning out a trip to Chicago or a specific place in Chicago and you want to map out that route so let's just do a simple map let's say we're coming from Omaha, Nebraska. So now you'll see the map show this route from A to B, from Omaha to Chicago, and the directions there. And when we click here, when we go back up here, we'll see our, our picture and these details here. Now you can choose to remove these details if you'd like to remove those from the pin too. Uh, and you'll also see the driving directions. If you don't want that to show, just simply uncheck it. You can even uncheck that first layer so you're left back with the plain map, or you can highlight it. Let's choose Preview, and this is going to be the way that others will see the map if you choose to share it, and they'll see the driving directions. They'll see everything that you've put on your particular map. So. You see the favorite city, if they want to highlight that, they will see over here the pictures you've added and your descriptions. Click the back arrow, if they want to see the directions here, then they can find out how to get from Omaha to there. And they can, they can star this and, and be able to view it in their Google Maps. You can edit this. You can also give people the ability to edit a map or just to view the map. So those are a lot of details that we'll, I'll continue to share in upcoming videos. Let's go back to our dashboard here in Google Maps and you will now see this map on your dashboard and you'll see the padlock key because this is a private map that you've not shared with anyone. That would change if you if you change the sharing settings, you can choose to open this in a new tab, copy it, or move it to trash. So that is a quick overview of my maps in Google. So I appreciate you watching this. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, The Handy Hutsonite, for more tips, hacks, and reviews like this one. Don't forget the notification bell, and I will see you in the next video.